Okay, what we're going to do today is a loose seascape. I intend to put a slight headland here, uh, a large bunch of rocks there. Obviously, the sea, uh, more sea than sky, uh, there'll be quite a dramatic sky, but the sea will sort of come across there, breaking over these rocks and uh, cascading down. That's the plan, so let's see how it goes. First job is the sky. I'm just going to run some water over various parts of this, uh, leaving gaps. Quite a warm day today, so uh, I'll get on with this fairly, fairly quickly. I'll put a piece of tape across there. I don't want a, an absolutely dead straight um, sea line, but I put it there basically to stop too much of the uh, sky washing down into the sea so and I'll be using for the sky I've got some Daniel Smith colours just to show you I've got that's Luna Blue that's mostly going to be within the sea uh, Moon Glow and Soda Light Genuine. Uh, I like these, I've, I've used these on a couple of skies recently and they granulate absolutely beautifully. Um, if you don't have uh, Daniel Smith colours um, basically what you need to use just use your standard cobalt ultramarines uh, perhaps with a touch of red in them will give you more of a moon glow colour because that's like a violet this is quite dark. Paint grey is fairly close to this as well, to the soda light. But uh, that's what I'll be using, so we'll see how they come out. Right, let's get a fairly big brush on the go. Just uh, mix up some soda light to start with. And just touch this in. Sort of want a bit of a stormy sky, so just... Uh, Don't want to go too close to the sea line. I want a bit of want it light there, but uh, basically just uh, darken the corner up. One or two bits of dark in it as well. Just give it a bit of drama. A bit of drama. Right. Let's just rinse all the brush out. Um, I've got about a 12 degree slope on my board which is obviously it's uh, making the paint granulate and go downwards right I'm going to mix up a touch of moon glow now fairly strong and just touch this in Much more darks, I think. A little bit of lifting out in places, I think. And the old trusty tissue to give us some clouds against the backdrop there. Okay, I think we'll let that dry and see what we've got. Okay, this is still a little damp. I'm just going around with a 
dampish brush now just to pick out a few little bits. I'll put some um, of that lunar blue just in the sky in just one or two places as well. But I'm um, just picking out a few spots in the clouds. Important not to overwork it though, which unfortunately I do tend to do sometimes. So it's a bit of self discipline. And soften that edge. I don't really want that quite that strong. And strike some of that down. Soften that one a little bit. Right, I'll leave it at that and let it dry now. Right, next job I think is to put this headland in. Uh, it's obviously there's distance there, so that will be sort of a grey blue coming down more to the earth colours in this part here. And I'll probably extend down into the rocks there, some of the make a start on those, leaving quite a few gaps because I want the spray to sort of come down the rock like that. And the first colour to go in is a mixture of ultramarine and moon glow. I want this fairly weak, so I'll put it on and probably dab it off. Little bit of a headline there. I'll just extend it into this one. Diagonal strokes. Okay, I'll just lift some of that back out now. darker streaks in there just to give it some detail. That's probably enough. I'll just mix up a slightly darker colour for the next stage now. Okay I've just warmed it up with a touch of burnt sienna. Let's see how it looks. It still needs a touch more blue in that, I think. Just put a touch of ultramarine in that. I need to braid down a bit. Just touch some raw ultramarine actually into that. So. Mostly on the paper. Well, the paper I'm using, by the way, is actually Archer's Rough, uh, 140 pound, on one of my stretches. Touch more blue, I think. One, two. Okay. We'll do for the second one. Now this one's going to be quite a lot darker. Okay, let's give this a try. I've mixed some ultramarine, burnt sienna 
and some of the original colour which was Moonglow and Ultramarine. Let's just have a look see how it looks. Might be a bit dark but I can always lift it out a little bit. Put a bit of variation in there. Touch of yellow ochre in that I think as well. Plenty of water. And some more blue, I think, in that. Let's just work on it a little bit now. Just mixing on the paper. So it's a diagonal brush strokes. Fairly darkish line against the sky there. Oh, that's giving us some depth. I'll just put a bit more blue along the bottom there, I think. To represent the bottom of the cliffs. I think I'll just dab some of the core out of that just to give it some variation. So a good tip with the uh, tissue is to curl it up and get some nice sort of variable lines then. Well, it's a little bit, still a little bit wet actually. So we'll tend to run back together again. Just lift a few bits out. A good base. Um, I can put some dry brush work over that. Um, when I finish, let's just take a bit of blue out of there. I don't really want that there. So what a nice uh, sea line there. Just tidy that a bit. Okay, now. I'll Put some bits in the rock here. I'll use a slightly bigger brush. I'll go for a uh, mop brush and I'll mix up uh, some raw umber, I think. Obviously, I've got some of that other mixture there. And let's just uh, touch in a few bits. rocks here, a little bit more water on that, just picking up all the stuff off my palette there, and another rock here, let's just put some of that in, And there's a small one at the front there as well. Let's uh, pop that one in as well. And put a bit of a bit of blue into that as well. Some places just to break it up.
just uh, random strokes this is they just give the effect of rocks as I say there's a lot of spray over these rocks so that's where the rough paper comes in really useful that can be a real cascade down there I'm trying to do this without masking fluid because I've gone off masking fluid a lot I find that it leaves very hard edges and uh, if I can get away without using it I'll try now Right. I think for the moment I can always add to that and put some cracks in it as well but uh, darker areas yeah right I'll let that dry right let's put a little bit of shadow area on these rocks um, obviously the light source is coming from this direction so it would mean that there's a lot of the backs of the rocks here are actually in shadow. I've mixed up a ultramarine and burnt sienna and I'm just going to loosely put this in on the back of the rocks now. Actually it needs to be a bit thicker than that. I'll try that. Looks better. A bit too much on my brush there. I want it more of a dry brush. So that's that's better. Sort of shaping around the back of that one there. brush over the up to the back end of that one as well. as well I think. A bit of alizarine. Got it a bit strong now, I don't really want that in the sea. A little bit too not ragged enough that so let's uh, break the top of that up a little bit that's a bit straight as well so I'll just dry brush across that a little bit
right. Okay. Dump some of that out now, just some light areas. Don't want it all one mass of colour. Well, it, once uh, the sea starts to go over the top of that, that will be quite a. I'll put some more work in that, actually, with um, darker lines as well when it's dry. So I think the next stage is I'll start painting the sea and have a nice big cresting wave here that's breaking over this but this is going to be the dark mix. I may well use Prussian blue um, with a touch of yellow ochre just to give it a nice colour. Finding that moon glow, uh, not moon glow, uh, lunar blue. So we'll see how it goes. Okay I mixed up some uh, lunar blue, a little bit of Prussian blue I'm going across this horizon here. Um, obviously, I'm going to be leaving bits of surf just put the uh, distant horizon in first. Not quite up to the rocks. I obviously want some white areas around the rocks there. Just uh, Stroking this in fairly straight, but try and break up the uh, the sea a little bit, so we end up with lots of nice white gaps, and uh, they're obviously opening up as it's getting closer to the the front, the fore foreground. They'll start to come in a little bit further apart. So let's just put a bit more water in that. Good bit of variation in there. fairly roughish sea. As I say then I'm going to have this breaking here so let's uh, just put the back end of that wave in there keeping it fairly dry so I want to as I say I want a lot of surf to show through this streaks in this now. Represent the peaks and troughs in the water. Still the same mixture. I've lightened it a little bit as I'm coming in towards the shore here. Even have a touch of uh, yellow ochre in this actually to represent the sand sort of being stirred up from underneath. So, right, that's sort of the top there. Top of the wave there. darker streaks across here. Ok, 
Okay. Try a little bit of yellow ochre just in that mix there. To green it up just ever so slightly. Just to give some variation in the colour. some water on that just to spread those colours out a little bit there. It's just pure water I'm just dabbing in here now just to take the stark whiteness off that. Just that wave there. Just uh, bring that in. pick up a few of these bits with uh, gouache afterwards uh, just to give the highlights right okay I think we'll just let that dry now okay I think we'll have a go at this wave now uh, basically what I want to do is I want a lot of light coming through the top of it obviously the it, it graduates from the bottom up to the top it's quite dark because of the, the way that the wave forms, it's like triangular if you look at it in cross section. So there's quite a lot of water at the bottom and then it just goes up and peaks, flicks over, white, you know, but it gradually gets paler and paler and a lot of light coming through. That's what I'm hoping to achieve. So I'll mix up some colours for that. Well that didn't go too well. Uh, I thought I was recording and it wasn't. So I've actually put this bit in here. That was uh, cobalt turquoise and uh, I used a touch of cad yellow mixed with the cobalt turquoise just to give the light top of that wave there and I've turned the board around so that gravity has pulled that colour gradually down into that wave. I say I wanted to get this lighter and uh, but unfortunately my camera timed out and I hadn't realised so I'll try and do the same uh, with a bit down here uh, just to demonstrate what I actually did there and um, we'll see how that turns out so let's just find the brush so I'll put a touch of the sort of cad yellow across there um, was in the meantime I've got a hard edge on that now so I'll just and uh, some cobalt turquoise pretty thick just touch it along the bottom of the wave there and you can see how it's creeping down into that light bit there I'll just uh, don't want it to go too far otherwise the point is putting the light edge in so just need to blend that in slightly. Just 
just soften the back edge of that. I'm going to turn the board back round in a minute and uh, put the rest of this wave in at the front now. There's a little bit over here I'll do the same with just to extend it slightly. So that's the light colour coming on the edge there and uh, some of the cobalt turquoise just in the bottom edge there and you can see how it's actually creeping up into that there. All right, let's stroke some of this across here. Leaving lots of little holes. I'll just turn the board round, get it lined up, there we go, that's just creeping a little bit too far there, so let's just knock that back. That's come out quite well though, and so I'll put some darker work in the front now. I've still got some a bit of Prussian blue which I'll mix with the cobalt turquoise just to give it a bit of dark down here to sort of pull that uh, seascape in behind it. Be quite dark at the base of that wave there, so let's get some more of this cobalt uh, turquoise in. So let's brush that up into that wave formation there so I'm doing a swirling stroke I want to give the impression that that's actually turning over I've got a bit of Prussian blue in this as well, just to darken this down here. bits in here. This is actually cobalt turquoise again. I'm 
Okay, I've dried that off now. Um, I don't think these holes worked out particularly well, but uh, what I'm going to do now is just put some white gouache and sort of stroke it over the direction of the wave. I'm using a fine fan brush which hopefully should give me the effect I'm after. Strong top there and uh, just a bit more oil. Bit more water. Turn the water, the white down too much, otherwise it. Uh, it won't stay white. So then there. Run up the top of that. Crest of that wave there. Let's just put a few bits breaking. Extend this over that rock now. fairly solid so it's going to come down and crash over that rock there so a bit comes up the front of this all the eddies down there sort of coming across here and down Put more. I want quite a big spray up here. So let's I'm try with a sponge actually to get more of this sort of spray. 
up here. Yeah, I think that looks better. See. Okay, I've worked that. Uh, I've used a sponge to actually get that water effect there. I'm not totally happy with that wave. I've lost some of the uh, translucency that I uh, wanted. So what I'm basically going to do, just to finish off, is do a little bit of dry brush work just on this coastline. And uh, just to put some uh, interest into this uh, headland here. darker down towards the water. Perhaps one or two uh, 
dry brush bits in these rocks as well to give them a bit of shape. To spill down there and also down to the front there. So Right, I think I'm going to call that one done. I'll just do the reveal now. Just take the tape off. It does make a difference. Well, there was no real rescue in this, I think. Um, okay. I think the main problem was I overworked this area. I tried to get it um, translucent, which I did achieve, but then I started adding too much dark. I put those holes in, which was a mistake, because um, it just didn't look right. And of course, when I tried, tried to lift that out of there, it just made a mess of it. Um, I've still got, I, you can still see through the wave, but I'm not, as I say, 100% happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed it anyway, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers. Mm -hmm.